Yo, what up, what up? I'm Grungy Bogues. Welcome to another episode of The Beat Anatomy. Today we're gonna be breaking down a track called Malice at the Palace by my man Vic Spencer, produced by myself. So let's get into it. So this right here, this is the original sample. I'm not gonna tell y'all the name, you feel me? I'ma just play it. There it is, there it go. So it was on this part of the sample right here. Woo. All right, so for those that are familiar with the track, the track is just a one bar loop. But the interesting story about this track is that it was a whole beat with different sections, a hook, a verse part, drums. But when Vic heard the joint, he's like, yo, just loop that one bar right there. You know what I mean? So at first I was like, word, but you know, it worked. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show y'all what the loop was, the actual final loop. And uh, then I'm gonna show you the whole joint. The actual track was pretty much this. So pretty much, that's all it was, you feel me? Which was... Originally, that was just the breakdown. That was just the transition between the verse and the hook. So I'm gonna show y'all the verse part. This is the verse part. I mean, that was the verse part, and then this was the hook. I learned a lesson with this joint. I learned that sometimes less is more. I know less is more is a cliche term, but that's all, man. You know, I had all these elements, all these drums. But at the end of the day, we just kept a simple one bar loop. And that's pretty much it. If you haven't copped the album yet, it's called Duffel of Gems, Vic Spencer. So that's it, man. Dope track. Sometimes all you need is a simple loop. Shout out to Vic Spencer. Love is love. Peace. Uh, I'm laughing at my own attributes. You gotta be doing something if they wanna blast at you for the grace of God, niggas. How you trap?